Ho oh, ho! Hello everybody! Welcome back to the James Lawrence All Court Channel. 3 nil. Let me show you my shirt. It's the shirt of an England fan. It's the shirt of a happy England fan. Absolutely fantastic. Job done. We, we were so professional. So professional. But there's a moment there where we have a little bit of a wobble. Sure. Sure. But, first of all, in terms of picking the team, look, we've got incredible strength in depth. So, we can, we can sort of pick anyone and really they should be able to make a difference, right? But uh, the inclusion of Jordan Henderson in this game was absolutely outstanding. Again, Southgate making the hard decisions when he needs to. This is often the case with him, is that he doesn't bow down to the pressure. Henderson was absolutely phenomenal in this game. He dictated the tempo of the team, he dictates the standards of the team, and he's done that since that USA game where he, when he came on. I think Southgate saw that. He is honestly a, it's something that you're probably only really seeing if you're, if you're in the ground able to watch the game. I was just watching him for a bit because he is barking orders, he's telling Saka to go here, and also incredibly selfless third man runs or runs out of the way or runs to create space for others. Liverpool fans, talk to me in the comments down below because you will know how you, you know, what Jordan Henderson does for this, for your football team. And he's come into this England side and the strengths that we have as, as a nation in terms of our style of play, be that often a lot of pace in behind, often a lot of dribbling, dribbling ability, often a lot of stamina as well in the midfield. It's all really, really coming together now. We started off really well. It's a very different game to the games that we've been playing where it was like, they came and pressed us, which you know we said in the preview that that's what they would do, but seeing it live, it's like, oh, that's a little bit different. There's a little bit of a different tempo here. They had a few moments, they really did. And Jordan Pickford made an absolutely huge save, but that's what it comes down to. This is tournament football. There's gonna be moments where they have a bit of momentum. We sort of started well, and then had about 10 minutes where we sort of lost our way a little bit. and. Jordan Henderson, uh, Jordan Pickford, sorry, makes that fantastic save. They had another chance as well where they could have, we got ourselves into trouble. Harry Maguire played a poor pass instead of taking a touch and they get themselves a chance. And they were starting to find a bit of a footing in the game, have a bit more confidence with the ball. But then, but then there's the moment with that first goal. And again, I come back to Jordan Henderson, who of course scores that goal. He is playing like Xhaka. It's like a, he's a facilitator. Is he as technically technically as brilliant as some of the other guys? No, he's not. Is he as sexy as some of the other guys? No, but he drives, he gets in the right spaces, he creates the right spaces for the other players as well. And all throughout that move, you've got Foden with a beautiful flick, that's what he's great at. Kane with his good link up play, that's what he's good at. Bellingham driving runs, we'll talk about Bellingham in a second. He does his job. And Henderson on that right hand side, understanding the, the pitch, understanding where everyone is, and doing his job, getting into the box. It's an incredible team goal. It's such a good team goal. I'm so, so pleased about it. And then you think, okay, let's get to half time, keep calm, carry on. All of a sudden, there's a moment, the ball drops, and I go, go on, Jude. I said it, I said it out loud. I was like, go on, Jude, because I thought, anyone else on that pitch, I'm thinking, they're not gonna get to that. But Jude Bellingham eats up ground like a pl no player I've ever seen. That's maybe too much, but I'm excited, guys. So look, just bear with me, all right? But all over the pitch, there's certain players sometimes that you see and they just look a little bit bigger than everyone else. They seem to go across the ground that little bit quicker than others. They always seem to come out of the challenges and win the tackles. And the midfield three, I thought were absolutely fantastic. Declan Rice really, really stepped up today. I thought he's great defensively. You saw the world-class elements of him, which was the driving and the energy at times. Obviously he's playing in that, defensive pivot role, single pivot role, and I think he'll get better in that position as time grows. But also, when there were moments where Harry Maguire looks to drive and makes a mistake, or another player makes a mistake, there were some really lovely moments where Declan Rice just sort of filled in, read the play, and won the ball. Just really good, guys. Really, really good. The game, again, you know, the game's over pretty, pretty quickly. 2-0, then you get the third goal. Saka, I think it was. I mean, it's all a bit of a blur by this point. Foden getting that cross in. But again, everyone, everyone is contributing. It's a huge, huge thing, you know? And 
as an England fan, I think we're always going to struggle to really believe that we can do something. But, you know, if you strip it back, you, there's nothing else that you can say apart from the fact that after Brazil and France, and, and after a performance like that, and again, France have played Poland, who are, who are not great. They played other teams in their group, which they've not, you know, they've not won all of their games. We've, we've been really good. We've scored goals, different people have scored goals. And you know what's huge as well is the contribution of the entire squad. Southgate has utilised the squad brilliantly. He's been able to because we've been we've been two 0 up in games or three 0 up, and so you can bring in Phillips. You safeguard certain players. I thought what was interesting as well, Carl Walker didn't have his best game. I'll be honest. And you do, you know, you wonder against the France side it, those chances that they get. Does he does he get one or two? Do they score one or two? I said that to Rory at one point. I went, do you know what? It, it, if we're going to play a back four, which if we're brave enough to do so. It's going to lead to us being more effective going forward, but we're also going to give up those chances. And you do wonder how many of the opposition, and I'm talking France, of course, because that's who we're, of course, playing. How many of those chances do they score? And how much more do they hurt us with a Giroud up front who's going to really actually win some of those aerial duels? Mbappe, who's going to really hurt you in behind. And Dembele on Luke Shaw on the right-hand side. All things to be concerned about, but not today, because we were great job done we could have made that very very difficult for ourselves but we didn't we got it done Southgate you're the one you still fucking turn me on motherfucker sorry I said that thought was coming home again maybe maybe might be could be who knows oh lads 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 and ladies happy days this is my last England game might have some more games it's my last England game and to go out with a victory, very special. As you can hear, my voice has gone. And it was great, so great, to watch it with a very important person. He is the captain of Jose. Oh, hey, hey. Look at this. You can't get it. We're both at us at the same time. <laughs> Do you want to talk to my camera for a second? OK. We'll talk about no, no, that's all right. We've got, we got pros. Okay, okay. Go. How happy are you with that? I'm ecstatic. I'm genuinely ecstatic. I think that it was a complete performance. It was a complete victory. We are such a good team. This squad that we have at our disposal is capable of winning it. The squad is elite. Look at the players that came on teams. That's the point I was trying to make on this. The depth. Imagine, imagine defending resolutely against this England team, doing your best, and then Jack Grealish comes on. Hang on a minute, what are you doing? It's, it's almost unfair. So no, I think that we are capable, I'm excited, and it was a joy, my friend. Honestly, I was saying this in this video as well. It was a joy to sit next to you through, through that 90 minutes. Living every moment of uh, that good, with you. Special. It was special. really special. You finish up, Mate. I'll finish up. We'll go talk in a sec. Boys, girls, anyone. Happy days, guys. We, we, we can beat France. We can beat them. We can. We really, really can. They've got, we've got to be concerned about Mbappe. They, but they've got to be concerned about us as well. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the World Cup content, I've still got a few days left, don't worry. But if you have enjoyed it all, do me a favour, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, of course, all that good stuff. And let me know how you're feeling in the comments down below. Can we do it? Can we beat France? I'm actually going to be in a plane, hopefully watching it. Hopefully they have the Wi-Fi. But my time watching England at this tournament is over. And it's ended on a high. 3-0. Come on. Come on!